Fairway bunkers are shots club golfers and amateurs really struggle with, but there are some cues that you can use to really hedge your bet and ensure you have solid contact and you can get this sucker out the bunker. So obviously the cardinal sin here is to hit the ball heavy and leave it in the sand. So we can do some things with our setup to offset that and ensure that we hit the ball first. So a couple of things we're gonna do. I'm gonna get comfortable down in the sand, make a nice solid base, okay? I'm gonna try and make sure the ball is kind of centered to slightly back so I can ensure I hit the ball first. That's imperative for my good contact. Now, my head is gonna get forwards and I'm gonna lean more on my lead side. So I'm trying to get the low point of the arc in front of the ball and I've moved the ball back so I catch the ball first. Those things are really important for the good contact. Now, the little secret nugget here is that I'm actually trying to intentionally thin the ball or hit it out of the bottom groove, maybe the, the, the first two. So I'm not trying to have that full contact that I'd get off of a nice fairway lie because obviously I need to make sure I make the ball first contact and I get a strike. This is gonna spin because there's less debris here, that sand, we're gonna get a bit more friction. So I can get away with a little bit of a thin strike. Certainly will get me out the bunker. So I'm gonna get set up here. I'm leaning left. I've choked down here. I've taken a little more club. This is a 50 degree from 100 yards. Choked down a little bit. Again, everything in here is about contact first and then also maintaining my height. So you can imagine a good visual is, imagine there's a dagger up under your chin. You don't want to stab yourself. You want to make sure you maintain your height and you're working towards the target. That's really important to get that contact and that strike first. So I'm solid base, more weight left, head forwards to get low point forwards. I've got the ball back a little bit so I can catch it and I've got the shaft forwards. And then from here, I'm trying to maintain my height and it may feel like a little more of an arm swing because if I start to turn my body a lot, I'm gonna get off of the ball, that's gonna get the low point back behind, and that's gonna make the contact really difficult. So let's give one a whirl. So I'm going to get left, head forwards, shafts a bit forwards, I'm choked down, and now my goal is hands and arms, I'm gonna try and hit this a little bit thin, and obviously make sure that I hit ball first and stay nice and tall. Here we go. Okay, and that's come out really nicely. Nice solid strike. And that ball's stopping and it's got lots of grip to it. That's what you need to do to get out of these fairway bunkers. Now, one thing I'll tell you, if you have a five wood or a hybrid, a lot of times you can use that club because it has a cambered rounded sole versus the dig that you get with an iron, it can hedge your bed a little bit and sometimes it's easier to get it out, especially if there isn't a lip in front of it. But remember, the nuggets for fairway bunkers, I'm trying to get my low point forwards, I'm trying to make sure my head and my body are forwards, and I'm gonna put the ball back so I catch the ball first. I'm trying to live in the bottom few grooves and make sure I'm not stabbing myself by losing my height if I had a dagger on my chin and it's a bit more of an arm swing. If you can do that, you'll have no stress getting out of fairway bunkers. That's good. Go in. <laughs> 